What's up everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how I ran into a 10k land deal by accident. I'm going to give some very detailed content in this video, so please just take one second, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell so YouTube can push this content out to more people. So now, let's get into the land deal story. So before I started using PropStream, which was the smarter thing to do, I was actually using list brokers to actually build a list. So this particular time I went to the list broker, I said I wanted a absentee owner list and I wanted the homeowners to be the owners of the property for five years. So what ended up happening was, since I didn't specify the exact type of properties I wanted, of course, a list broker is in business to make money. The more leads they send you, the more that you're gonna pay. So instead of me saying, hey, I want an absentee owner list, I want the owner to have owned the property for five plus years, I wanted to be single family homes only, and I wanted the homes to be built anywhere from 1990 on back. I didn't say any of those things. I just said the bare minimum to get a list. So when I received the list, I didn't really pay attention at first until I started marketing to the properties. And I realized that the list had a mixture of single family homes and lots. I didn't really care what the lot owners would say because I thought that, you know, there's no money in lots. I ain't even worry about it. if I send messages to them, I don't even care. I'm just trying to get another deal. So what ended up happening was I sent out text messages first. So when I sent out the text messages, of course, I got a lot of responses from the, the land owners and the lot owners saying, hey, there's no way you saw this property because there's no house on this lot. Don't contact me ever again. I was like, okay, whatever, because I didn't care anyway. But little did I know, I started doing a little bit more research on lot deals and I realized that your biggest spreads can actually come from wholesaling lots. So. Of course, yes, that data was mixed up with single family homes and lots, and I didn't realize the value that I had in that list. The only thing I wish at that point was it was all separated. I didn't really know how to separate it and get it cleaned up or anything, so I just continued to market to that list. So what eventually happened is once I got done sending text messages to the list, I sent that list to the next form of marketing, which was cold calling. So I went through the same process of calling everyone on the list and I didn't really get, you know, I didn't really get a good response. I got leads. Of course, you can get leads out of the list. But then, you know, I still had some sellers, potential sellers that didn't respond. So the next thing that I did was send Wrangler's voicemail. It's called an omni-channel marketing presence. I mentioned it in this video right here on how to get started in wholesaling. So please check that out later. So I sent the list over to Ringless voicemails, all the mobile numbers. What ended up happening was I got a response from one of the Ringless voicemails from a seller that lived in Atlanta, but he owned lots here in the Charlotte area. And he said, you know, I have a lot here. I'm just paying the taxes on it every year. It's not bringing any value to me or anything. Um, I'm just ready to get rid of it now. So what I ended up doing was I ran comps on the lot. Like I, like I said, I put in some time to figure out how it should be done. I went and I ran comps on the lot and I realized that this area actually supports new builds and that it has a lot of renovations in the area. So this lot right here will actually fly off the shelf. So while I was on the phone call with the seller and he was just giving me the rundown on the lots and I was just sitting there building rapport with the seller, that's very important if you wanna get a good deal. Make sure you build rapport with your seller. I ended up realizing that the ARV in that area was around 285,000. So if I get the lot anywhere from 10 to 15% of the ARV, I would be able to sell this lot at 20 to 25%. So 10% of the 285, the 285,000 was 28,500 and 15% of that $285,000 was $42,750. So I know if I got it anywhere in between that number, we had a deal. So basically, the seller wanted a little bit too much. It didn't work, and of course, you know, whenever you run into a seller that has a number that they are stuck on, there's nothing you really can say or do. Even if you break down why your number makes sense, it, it, just, it really doesn't matter at that point in time because they're already receiving a lot of calls and voicemails and stuff. So it doesn't matter at that time. So basically what I did, I just threw that particular seller in the follow-up. I was like, okay, it's a land deal. It 
you know, maybe I get a good deal on it, maybe not, but I just continue to follow up with him. So I just continue to follow up with him, and then eventually he just stopped responding at all. And one Sunday morning, he reached back out and said, if he could get 40000 for the lot, he'll be fine with that, and he'll move forward, send the agreement over now, and he's ready to move forward. That was a situation that came about by accident. I wasn't going after land deals. That wasn't even close to my focus, but now, every time I go into a new market, I pull single family homes, and I pull lots separately, especially lots in an area that supports new builds and renovations. I mainly focus on those areas because you can get a lot of lots that you can't do anything with. So you wanna make sure that you're pulling a lot list in the correct areas. So that will easily create a 10K spread. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can actually do the same thing in your business as well too. I'm gonna give you the basics of pulling a lot list. Whenever you go into a certain county and you wanna pull a lot list, you wanna pull a single family list, but you also wanna pull a lot list. What you need to keep in mind is that you wanna get these properties under contract at 10 to 15% of the ARV, and you wanna be able to sell that particular lot at 20 to 25%. Most of the time, you need to get a lot under contract a little bit longer than you would a regular single family home. Most single family homes, you get a property under contract for 30 days. For a lot, I would say 45 days or a little bit more would be the right thing to do. Because sometimes you have buyers that may want to get a survey done, a soil analysis test. They may want to check with zoning and see what is actually zoned. But most of the time, whenever you're dealing with builders, they already know anyway, but they just gonna, you know, they're gonna do their due diligence before they move forward. So you would actually need a little bit more time. Lots, believe it or not, like I said before, you can actually get way bigger spreads just from doing lots. And I'm getting even more into lots now, but like I said, the key is to make sure you have your text messages made that is only for lots, and you have your text messages made that are for single family homes. Make sure that you keep those separated because Whenever you're sending out a text message to a lot owner, you want to say, hey, my name is such and such. I drove by a lot that you own in the area off of 123 Main Street. Are you interested in selling? Then they know, okay, this person actually took the time, went by the property, and see that this is actually a lot instead of everybody else that's just sending a message saying that I want to buy your home on 123 Main Street when there isn't a home there. It's just a lot. So basically... Just spend the time making sure that you have the property comp right. You can't really go off of what you see other vacant lots are going for. It really just depends on what the ARV is on the properties that sold that are new construction. Make sure it supports new construction and that you see that you have buyers coming in, infield builders coming in, and they are building and renovating homes in that area. You just want to verify those things. So now, if you have any questions about the process, or if you have a lot that you have issues with moving, feel free to send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment down below, and then we can get together and talk about it. But if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And feel free to check out my wholesaling playlist right here. I have videos that are explaining the process of wholesaling. You can just watch it from the beginning to the end, and I guarantee you'll walk away with a solid understanding for wholesaling locally, wholesaling virtually. It's just a great starting point if you're looking to get into the business. And I'll see you next time.